All right, so we're in Logic. Well, we're in Logic and I've just thrown up Splice on the screen because I'm just going to grab a sample from Splice and show you how we can do this. If you do it with Apple Loops, they're automatically synced up so that they'll adjust with the tempo. So I want to do it with something that isn't. Um, and if we grab... This guy here, it's in 100 BPM. And what I'm going to do is I usually work at like 88. I like the really slow plodding along hip hop kind of vibe. So we're just going to grab that sample, drop that into Logic just like so. All right, so we've now got that in there. As we can see, we're set to 120. It's well off time. I'm going to change the tempo up here, which for the double click, I'm going to go boom for 88. And we can still see it's well off time. If I was to loop a little four bar section like so. <laughs> Damn, it's out of time. Okay, so there's a couple of ways that we can fix it. And this isn't always going to work, but it's worth a bash. When there's not a huge amount of change, and in this case, it's what, about half a bar out. We can hold Option, go to the bottom of the piece of audio, and we get this little stretch icon. See that little dude? If we stretch it out to bar five, if it can do it, it will very quickly stretch it for us. And that's going to be the simplest way to quickly readjust the tempo. It looks like it's pretty much bang on. <laughs> As we can hear, that's done a pretty good job, but let's just pretend that didn't work for us. It was too far out of sync and it just couldn't do that stretch. And if Logic can't do it, it will just throw the sample back at you looking the same as it did before. So what we need to do is put on our flex time, flex pitch palaver. Things that have changed somewhat, easiest way to do it, have your audio selected, press E. That is gonna bring up this guy right here. You can also just double click your piece of audio. It's gonna bring up our audio editor. Let me just get rid of that on the right. Zoom, we can stretch this guy out. Switch this guy on just here, this little DNA type thing. It's your flex audio. Audio, right it's going to say turn on flex and it's going to take a second and figure out the stretch markers now there's algorithms that vary and work different as long as we switch this guy on up here we can now automatically stretch it we don't have to uh, hold any keys down we can just stretch it out like so now it's chosen flex time slicing right which means it's made the audio into lots of little slices for this kind of sound it's probably not going to work it will sound really choppy <laughs> Yeah, especially this section just here, right? This doesn't sound right uh, between bar two and three. It's all chopped up. If it was a bit of a more uh, rhythmic sound, like something like drums or something playing more rhythmically, it might work. What we want to do, we want to make sure we switch this to something else. Now, monophonic might work in this case, but I think polyphonic is going to be the best way to go. As you can hear, that sounds pretty good. Now, the other thing is some of the timings might not be bang on. You can adjust your timings. For example, say we want this here to land bang on. We can just set that node here and just drag it back. And then we can just do that with the other beats that we want to be right bang on time, right? And once we've done all of those and got them exactly on the timings that we like, we are good to go. And that, guys, is how you can correct the timing of a sample, change its tempo in Logic. Thank you.